Have you ever heard of Morningwood? What if you stop getting Morningwood when on finasteride? Well, if you haven't heard of Morningwood yet and have hair loss and are thinking of going on to definitive treatment like finasteride for your hair loss, you need to watch this video. For Morningwood is a powerful indicator, a barometer of your sexual health. And when finasteride enters the picture, things start to get more complex. In this video, I uncover the science behind Morningwood, who is more likely to complain about this while on finasteride, and what steps to take if your morning wood isn't the same as it used to be. As a hair transplant surgeon with years of clinical practice, I have observed a compelling correlation. Your morning wood serves as a reliable real-world gauge of how your body responds to finasteride. No blood test can match the objectivity of this simple natural phenomenon. In younger men, a sudden or complete absence of morning wood could signal an underlying issue, probably exacerbated by finasteride. Also, those lacking morning wood to start with should think twice before going on to finasteride. In this video, I cover the deep relationship between morning wood and finasteride and explore whether this connection should influence your decision to continue the medication. Treating hair loss with finasteride is often wrapped in layers of myth, misunderstanding, and exaggerated fears. Some men who take finasteride report an unexpected increase in morning erections, contradicting the widespread belief that the drug impairs sexual function. These are often individuals who approach this medication with an open mind, a rational mindset, free from the influence of alarmist online narratives. On the flip side, Others notice a decline in spontaneous erections, reinforcing concerns about the sexual side effects of finasteride. But this discrepancy raises an important question. Does finasteride truly impact morning wood? Or this is merely a nocebo effect at play? Now, what is morning wood? What is the science behind morning wood? Morning wood, or NPT, nocturnal penile tumescence. This occurs during the REM sleep cycle, rapid eye movement cycle of sleep. And this phenomenon is driven by several physiological mechanisms the parasympathetic nervous system triggers smooth muscle relaxation in the penile arteries. Testosterone and nitric oxide play key roles in sustaining NPT. Norepinephrine, which suppresses erections during wakefulness, is reduced in REM sleep. And lastly, brainstem functions during REM sleep promote erectile responses. Many misconceptions surround morning wood. Some believe it prevents nocturnal urination, but this is a huge myth. NPT or morning wood is not necessarily a response to sexual stimulation or dreams. It's a sign of healthy blood flow, a sign of normal nerve function in the penile region. Its presence indicates a well-functioning vascular and neurological system, which are essential for normal erectile function when awake. A consistent lack of morning wood, particularly starting after taking finasteride, could however be a warning sign. And this is known to happen in 1% of cases, cases which have been deep counseled, cases which have been worked up by doing various lab tests cases that have been selected for the drug. It is commoner in those patients, up to 5%, those patients who take the drug across the counter. Now, who is more likely to develop sexual side effects from finasteride? From my clinical experience, certain group of patients are more prone to reporting sexual side effects, including decrease in morning erections. Interestingly, it is the same group of patients who struggle with erections, who often struggle with erectile function, even when they're not on finasteride. And this suggests that underlying metabolic physiological factors play a crucial role in the correlation between finasteride and morning wood. Moreover, certain medications like antidepressants, painkillers can also suppress NPT. And this makes it very difficult to isolate finasteride as a sole culprit. To conclude, morning wood is often seen as a barometer of male sexual health. And while its occasional absence is not cause for panic, a persistent decline in your morning wood should never be ignored. The relationship between finasteride and morning erections is complex. It could be hormonal, neurological, vascular, and also psychological factors may well contribute. So if you're experiencing reduced morning wood after starting finasteride, consider the following. Assess other factors like diet, stress, and concurrent medications. Get your overall health, your metabolic health evaluated from a doctor, like blood pressure, cholesterol, and diabetes, which can all influence erectile function. Be also mindful of psychological influences. Fear and over-monitoring can create self-fulfilling anxiety about sexual performance. And discuss it with an expert. An individualized approach is key to balancing 
hair loss treatment with overall well-being. For most men, finasteride is very well tolerated without any major sexual side effects. However, if morning wood disappears and other symptoms arise, it may be worth re-evaluating whether finasteride is the right choice for you. The key, my dear friends, like everything in life, is to strike a balance. Preserving your hair while ensuring that your body is still giving you the green signal every morning. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions about hair loss, hair loss treatment for men and women or about hair transplant, do let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section below. But if you want personalized consultation, please join the channel membership and you won't be disappointed. Have a nice day and God bless you.